Welcome everybody. In our last video I showed how to use triggers and late activation to kind of set up a training mission uh, similar to the DACT uh, gauntlet that DCS had as the mission of the week. Uh, now we're going to use that to spawn in not quite random aircrafts uh, or groups but somewhat random. One of the things that I tend to do, and I'm going to start putting some units in here while I talk, but when I'm building my missions just for fun and for training, um, a lot of times, whoops, um, a lot of times I, uh, well, it, it gets old because I, I know where everything is, um, and I don't, I don't necessarily want to know where everything is, so, uh, so one thing that I try to do is create some randomness um, just to make it so that I don't know exactly where the aircraft are coming from now the problem is I'm still making the missions so um, so I still know the possibilities but you know it helps it helps so um, basically the idea is to just set up set up some sort of a of a mission where you know it's a little bit harder um, than it would have been if you just put in the uh, a bunch of units that you knew I guess um, I hope that makes sense but what I'm gonna do is let's see we're gonna put some targets in over here just because it's close. Normally, like this is not a realistic mission whatsoever. But let's put, uh, let's just make it easy. And we'll put um, target. And just just for the fun of it, we're we're gonna make this really really easy because I'm just trying to show um, how to set up a mission like this. Um, that's one too many. Let's just make it three. We'll put them fairly close together. We'll put them in a line. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's make it easy. Okay. So that's our group target. You can set up as many as you want. Now we want to do that same thing where. Let's come over here, and we will put um, enemy air one. Let's just call it that. And that's Iranian. And let's make it something. Let's make it like this, and we'll give them two of those guys. And I don't know. Oh, this is ground attack. Let's do an anti-ship strike. Yeah, that looks good. There we go. Okay. So, now let's add this late activation. Now they'll probably get shot down there. Um... something like that okay so there's an air group now down here let's put in uh, another air group and let's make these guys F4s that's fun oh that's cool <clears throat> let's put a couple of those in add a waypoint late activation Let's add one of these. Start in route task. Search then in great group, and that's going to be the new airplane group. I didn't name my group, so that's it. So it's going to come looking for us. That one is. Now out here, let's do one more. And I normally do a lot more than this, but let's do one more. Um, what do we want to make these guys? Oh, 
let's just put a single MiG-29 out here. Whoops, I think I forgot to name my last group. This one's going to be three. Do that. Add a waypoint, late activation. Add one of these, start en route task. Search then engage group, new airplane group. Okay, now I need to come rename this guy. enemy air 2 okay so now we've got our three groups set up and like I said I'd usually do six or seven from different places and you can use a lot of logic to create two groups or one group or three groups or you know you could do a lot of different stuff I won't go into the details on that yet but um, now we need a trigger and I'm gonna say I'm going to call this target dead. And let's see if I can remember how to do this. So now we need to go flag equals. And this is flag one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. I did that wrong. Uh, this is group dead. Let's say group alive less than. We'll make this target, and we're going to say less than 67%. So if we kill one of these guys, I can just type that. If we kill one of these guys, something's going to happen. Now this one we want to put flag is, is it flag on? Flag set random value. There we go. Flag one, we want it to be one to 10 let's say okay so there's our first trigger when we kill at least one of the target group then it's gonna set flag 1 between 1 and 10 or including 1 and 10 value limit minimum value limit max so it's either gonna be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay here we go so spawn 1 we'll just call it that and now flag and this is this gets a little bit fun but I'm trying to remember flag is less so flag one less than let's say three or less than four so if it's one two or three we are going to activate Group activate enemy air one. New spawn two. Now here it gets a little bit fun. Flag is less than, flag one less than, let's say seven. So we want it to be four, five, or six. And you can play around with this a little bit. Um, but we need a new one. And we need that, is that or? No, 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 delete the or. So this is and flag more. Then three. So flag is less than seven, flag is more than three. Group activate, enemy air two. New, spawn three. flag more than six now I have done this before where I got some overlap and so two groups would spawn that that maybe that's the way you want it and you've got to play around with the values depending on how like what the chances um, are that you want planes to activate so in this case um, if it's I think if I've set this up correctly if it's if the flag gets set to one two or three the uh, ship attack group comes out the su 24s if it's four five or six the f4 phantoms come out if it is seven eight nine or ten which means there's four possibilities then the mig 29s come out 
Okay, so that's all I'm going to do with that, just to show this mission, and let's save it, and then we'll load it up. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with these guys. I'm going to delete them, and I'm going to create a new group. We're going to call it in air one and we'll call this cap and we will make it I don't know let's make it MIG 21's Ooh, let's do some bare metal I like the idea of bare metal MIG 21's those are like that would work fine two of those Lead activation. Add start in route task group new airplane group. Okay. Now let's go back into our trigger. And we need a new one because it deleted my trigger whenever I deleted that group. So spawn one new whoops new flag less flag one less than four new group activate enemy air one okay and now I'm gonna move this guy up there so we've got one two three That should do the trick, uh, unless something weird's going on. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the flag is zero to start with. I don't know. I, I don't remember that being an issue. But let me make a new one of these. And we'll say flag more than zero. Flag less than floor, four. Flag is more than zero. Flag is less than four. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, it's zero to start with. I don't think that's the case, but I don't know. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's up. Popping up on my radar.